good day guys my name is martins um, well you are welcome to my talk show once more and um, i want to discuss with us today about the key issue of uh, spirit and you know when we are talking about seducing spirit seduce a man in the, in the world you know and uh, jealousy envy are things that actually result from uh, prayers peer prayers that people face from maybe their colleagues or someone else in the society today and I just want to talk with us to about dealing with this uh, uh, seducing spirit as, as a Christian that we have. You know, um, you don't have to be envious of people who are doing the wrong things in life. You don't have to be jealous. Whenever these spirits want to come upon us as a Christian, then this is at the time we need to uh, withdraw ourselves and, and be conscious of what we are actually pursuing, what our goal are. Jealousy is everywhere. So we don't have to be jealous of anybody. We, we, we only have to be uh, motivated we have to we don't have to be motivated by people doing the wrong thing people not serving god people not following god's process we need to be jealous and be envious when you want to when you want to be jealous when you want to see the spirit of seducing spirit when you want to get seduced don't get seduced by unbelievers get seduced by believers let them be the people who are motivating you, who are bringing those prayers that we all do feel at times. Let them be the one that you are getting those prayers from. Because if we actually come on our prayer and we get carried away through unbelievers or people doing the wrong things, then they are going to take us from God's purpose. They are going to take us away from from life to dry land. You know? They are going to take us away from God in essential. And we have to make people who have made it through God's process, through following direction, through righteousness, we have to make them our our motivator as those ones who uh, we are coming under their sex prayer okay and even for young people who are young ladies who want to get married or you know you don't have to be motivated or come under any prayer because of your mates are getting married to people who are rich but not believers not chasing god not uh, looking for god's purpose okay you have to be motivated through the life of those who are following god's process those want us to be what you are you, you desire because there is nothing uh, that we are looking for in the world that we won't actually find God, you know. My father used to talk about that, Reverend Richard Harris, that uh, once a man or a woman misses it in marriage, then 80% of his usefulness for God is gone. So there's nothing in essential that we are looking for in the world 
people of the world that we won't actually get in God on the long run. So we have to make people who have gone on ahead make their life as samples. Okay? And we have to follow through process with God. So what's the whole essence of what I'm saying now is we don't have to come under no prayer as a female or as a male. We don't have to come no under no prayer through the life of unbelievers. We have to be motivated through people who are going to lead us more to God, to purpose, to, to, to life, not to destruction. Because there is a way that seems right actually to man, but the end thereof in this destruction. And unbelievers may even be Christian who, who are who is backsliding. Okay? A Christian is not following God's process, God's direction. And is making it, you know, that's the Jesus Spirit can come through those supposed believers. And we have to be conscious of who is we are following, who is mentoring us, who we are learning from. You know, we have to be conscious of that, of who we are learning from. You don't have to, because of one person's success, then. Or uh, you want to go and start learning what they do to to get all of those things? No, we have to make God be a sample, a motivator, a seducer, and those who we are we want to learn process from. Okay, so thanks a lot, guys. I think this is just what I want to discuss with us today, and God bless you. Amen.